Hello and welcome to SIP TV from Trustnet Direct. I'm with Greg McClymont today, who's Head of Retirement at Aberdeen Asset Management, one of Europe's biggest asset managers. Hello, John. It's a pleasure to be here today with you. So, Greg, we, we have these new pension freedoms, but we still have quite a lot of complexity around how you get your money out. Um, because if you've built up a healthy portfolio, um, you've got lots of bits in, you've probably taken some trouble to, to do an asset allocation yourself. When it comes to selling it down, um, it's complicated. Is the industry riding to, to investors' rescue to make this, you know, a single button press that can, you know, uh, help them derive an income without going, you know, getting your slide rule out? Yeah, I mean, I think we'll see things going in that, that direction. But given how big a change in policy this was, uh, I think that the kaleidoscope has been shaken, the pieces are still in flux. Investors are, are thinking very carefully about how do I approach my retirement now. Providers are thinking how do I provide products which meet the needs of investors. And technology providers are thinking how can we provide technology solutions that make this more straightforward. I mean, I think for, for for those with, with large size pots, probably not much has changed. Yeah. Drawdown's always been available and been accessed by some. I think it's that, that m broad middle of um, individuals who have historically had to buy an annuity, essentially, now thinking about how do I, you know, how do I manage my retirement? Now we can talk about products, um, asset managers and others are bringing products to market. I think the spectrum is pretty straightforward. It's from guaranteed income on one side to risk exposure with potential reward at the other. My own view is that low volatility protections will probably become a, a bigger part of the investment retirement market because given the sequencing risks that are prevalent in retirement, that danger of crystallising losses because you have to take an income from your investments. I think low volatility protections which dampen downside risk in a portfolio will become a, a bigger part of the market, but that's just my own prediction. There's certainly guaranteed products being um, launched, guaranteed products in combination with multi-asset, guaranteed products on their own, right through to an approach which uh, I've heard suggested, which is to stay very heavily invested in equities on the basis that in the long run they outperform other asset classes. But I think you would have to have a very significant risk appetite, um, tolerance of losses um, to make that a plausible approach. My own view is diversification is critical. I think diversified products and will play a big part in the retirement market going forward with low volatility protections attached. Are these new products going to start putting costs back up again, I suppose is the question. Yeah, I mean, that's a very good question. Um, at at the, the guaranteed end of the, the spectrum, there's no doubt that guarantees are expensive. Yeah. The, the, the cost of hedging equity risk is significant, and we're seeing products launched in that space that do have um, you know, relatively hefty price tags attached. Now, if you're someone who's determined to have a guarantee, yeah. and that's fair enough if your, your risk appetite is limited, you don't want to buy an annuity, but your risk appetite is limited, then that might be the right solution. Um, I do think more widely keeping things simple, mm. and this is where the advantages of, of blending a number of funds are that you get diversification in theory, but also, of course, you have the, the different uh, charges being layered from from different funds. So I mean it, it does bear looking at how do you how do you approach fees? It's one thing you can absolutely control. There are products out there, funds which are looking very carefully and delivering diversification but at perhaps at a price which um, investors are prepared to pay. So it's, it's that trade off between protections yeah. um, trying to keep volatility down in the portfolio and the price tag attached. I think if 
retirees now face a significant series of challenges. Yeah. You have longevity risk, yeah. inflation risk, and of course, market or investment risk. Yeah. And actually, I think where technology really is a big role is in allowing individuals to map out actually um, their plan in retirement. I think that's really can be powerful as technology develops financial modelling tools, projections. I think they've got a big role to play. Do you think, I mean, we're, we're obviously, as an industry, it's, it's, it's in everyone's interest to encourage more investors in, um, you know, people sitting in cash at the moment are having a pretty torrid time. But, but do you think the industry is still very focused on, you know, uh, the way it, it names its funds and, 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 and has its regional biases? Is that more for the IFA and still quite bewildering for, for the private investor? And do you sense any change? Yeah, I think it's a really interesting question. I, I think one of the ways in which the, the 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 pension freedoms are already having and will continue to have a significant impact is in that shift towards a more retail mm. approach, um, defined as um, direct to the to the customer, yep. to the consumer. And I, I think that's a process that's underway, which asset management historically is is generally been intermediated to use the jargon. Yeah. Um, pension scheme trustees, pension scheme managers, uh, financial advisors, private banks have been who asset managers have historically dealt with, with the, the end client um, at the end of that, that chain. And that's definitely changing. Greg, thank you very much. If you want to do some retirement planning for yourself, we've built some really handy retirement tools covering the three stages of retirement planning, approaching retirement and post-retirement and you'll find them all on the TrustNet Direct website.